A man who married his 91-year-old great-aunt when he was 23 is fighting for a widower's pension after social services rejected his application. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Argentinian Mauricio Osola claimed it was Yolanda Torres' last wish to marry him in April last year, 14 months before she died of sepsis. When he then went to claim a widower's pension the following summer, the authorities rejected his application after his neighbors told investigators they knew nothing about the marriage. Mauricio, who admits Yolanda wasn't an expert when it came to the law, has vowed to go to the highest court in the land if necessary to prove he should get a weekly payment. Mauricio, from the city of Salta in northwest Argentina, moved in with his great-aunt after his parents separated eight years ago. He shared a home in the neighborhood of Tres Cerritos with his mom, her brother, his grandmother, and Yolanda. He was still studying law when they married in February 2015 in what Mauricio describes as a discreet civil ceremony and a noble and legitimate decision. But he got the knockback from his social services department after applying for a widower's pension last summer shortly after her death. He told his local paper El Tribuno de Salta, She was an important support in my life and us getting married was her last wish. I love Yolanda in the purest way you can love someone and that feeling, along with the pain her loss has caused me, will remain with me for the rest of my life. When I began to apply for the pension, I presented all the necessary paperwork and complied with all the legal requirements. Yolanda might have been over 90 but she was extremely lucid. But she wasn't an expert when it came to the law and she wanted to be sure there were no legal problems with our marriage. Mauricio said their decision to marry came after she promised to help him continue his law studies, which he'd planned to abandon after his parents split. He admitted it initially caused concern among relatives, who, like him, nicknamed Yolanda Ula or Lita, but their worries had been assuaged when he proved to them there was no legal impediment to the union. He says social services chiefs now said to have rejected his pension request even confirmed there should be no problem before they married. Mauricio's application is understood to have been rejected because Mauricio's neighbors told investigators they knew nothing about the marriage. But he raged last night. Next to our house, they've built a block where I know no one at all. What could these neighbors know about us in our discreet civil marriage? If I have to go all the way to the Supreme Court, I will because the rejection of my petition is totally unfounded. I said to Yolanda after the separation of my parents, Look, Ulita, I'm going to have to abandon my studies. Those were the circumstances that led to us getting married. Yolanda insisted I had to finish my studies. She'd say to me, I'm going to help you because you always take care of me. You go with me to the doctors and you're always helping me with my problems. After some time had gone by, I asked her what she'd think if I asked her to marry me. Fellow Argentinian Ronaldo Wabeke made headlines around the world in 2010 when he married 82-year-old Adelfa Volpes. She died 24 days later during their honeymoon in Rio de Janeiro. The 68-year-old age gap didn't stop Reynaldo obtaining a widower's pension. He went on to marry a man he later separated from before moving to Buenos Aires and settling for a quieter life away from the cameras. Outraged Ronnie Romar last night branded Mauricio an opportunist, insisting, It's obvious his late wife knew nothing about the law and was convinced by this relative. Thanks to people like him, widowers who really do need the money then find their applications held up. But Garcia Connie added, well done to him, he's not an opportunist, he's simply being intelligent and taking advantage of money she worked all her life for. 